Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to go ahead and take a little snooze, because last episode we got the Magician of Black Chaos, or Dark Magician of Chaos, whatever it is, and that card's amazing because its effect gets me a spell card, it gets me a way to remove from play monsters. Before I decide to skip to next week, I, I, I was recommended to always check card shop, always make sure that there's nothing special. Alright, nothing special that I can see, so we're cool. I'm allowed to skip the day now. Because if there is a random structure deck that pops up, I don't want to miss it. What if we see something really cool like Weevil card? I would love to get Weevil cards, honestly. It's my goal. It's my goal to get Weevil cards. I want to be the insect man. I already did exo- I was Gramps for a day. I'm Joey right now. I want to be- I want to be Weevil. It's my dream. To be king of the pirates. Alright, let's do a random kid. You think you can beat the elite? You have a courage of a lion. Fine, let us see if the actions can muster up to your words. Okay, cool. Ah, oh, new week means new band cards. Yep, let me find out what's uh, what's wrong with my deck. Mm, yeah, fiber draw should always be banned. Monster born. <sighs> Shit. Oh man, I have so many band cards. Um, let me just edit. Alright, yeah, I'm using deck four right now. Here we go. Time to edit the shit out of this. Monster Born is... Oh yeah, let's put two in the deck. No, it's it's gone. Okay. Okay. I think I pressed something wrong. Swords isn't banned, right? No, Swords isn't banned. Okay, United We Stand and Mage Power are gone. That's fine. All right, let's get to the let's get to the deck. I'm gonna add some better spells and traps that it, well, not better, but non-banned ones uh, like Axe of Despair. I'm glad I got one of those. Um, I'm gonna add Malevolent Nuzzler can be good instead, so I'll have those as my equip spells for now. Yeah, they're pretty decent. Um, Regeki Swords. Let me just see if anything that was banned isn't banned anymore, so I can put that in the deck instead. Pot of Greed still banned, makes sense. Change of Heart, that makes sense. Upstart, sadly. Snatch Deal's not banned anymore, so I'll put that in the deck. Uh, a lot of good field spells, but I don't really have a set type in this deck. Or attribute. I could add another Fusion Gate, honestly. Wouldn't hurt, that would be my field spell. Big Bang Shot, if I had two, I'd put two, but I don't have two. Ajama Delta Hurricane, Griffin. Ooh, I had dedication through Dark. Oh, man. I need to buy a Yugi starter deck. I need to buy a Yugi starter deck so I can actually pull off some combos. All right. Let's, uh, let's actually go for Autonomous Action Unit. And then let's put a trap in the deck. Because we did lose a trap. Trap hole wouldn't be bad. Ultimate Offering is not banned. Huh. Maybe I'll run that. I have 25 monsters in this deck, so it wouldn't hurt to have Ultimate Offering. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's see if I could duel random elite boy. Yeah. I'm gonna use scissors, thank you very much. Hopefully this random elite guy doesn't have any crazy cards I'm not prepared for. Though seeing as my hand is busted, effect wise. Can I get a trap to go along with it? Damn it, I was hoping for ultimate offering. Oh, uh, busted effect wise. Let's thin out our deck with Mystic Tomato and end our turn. Get me a Witch of the Black Forest or a Sand Gan. That's a pretty decent monster, actually. If I didn't have Zombira in my hand, I might have felt a little bit of fear. But I do have Zombira in my hand, therefore no fear is felt. I activate my effect. I special summon a monster. Uh, I'm going to choose Witch of the Black Forest. I'm not really looking to fuse right now. I'm looking for damage. Or, I mean, I look for tactics. I draw Axo Despero. Very good. Um... You know what, Zombira is great, but let's save it for when I need 2,000 exactly. I mean, to destroy a 2,000 defense boy monster or something. For now, we got Gearfree the Iron Knight. I wish I had Release Restraint and I could summon Gearfree the Swordmaster. But I don't know where to get Release Restraint or Gearfree the Swordmaster if they exist. It is 2005. I think late 2004 is when the game came out in Japan. 2005 when in, uh, for the US. So, it's possible it existed at that point. I just can't remember. I think Battle City for sure. Ah, look at you with your powers. You actually had a D. Oh, but you were dumb enough to attack that monster? Thank you so much. And with that, I can get the best card in the games. I wish I, I, I wish I had it. It would be Jinzo, but I don't. But I can get Mahavelo. 
and I do have Axe of Despair in my hand. So, Mahavela, ooh, and now you set a trap card, which is most likely Magic Jammer. I know how, I know this game. All right, you know what? I'm gonna save Maha Velo in the case of a trap card. Could be a it could be a Magic Jammer. It could be a, a Sakuretsu Armor. There's many options, so I'm not gonna allow myself to lose my cards. There we go. And now I'm not afraid to use uh, Axe of Despair because even if it doesn't work, I still have a 1900 attack point monster, and that's all I need. So this kid actually might be an elite. He's got some powerful monsters. And Graceful Charity. God, I need to get Graceful Charity. Jesus, does he have powerful monsters. Okay. And we all know he probably has Magic Hammer since it wasn't Trap Hole or Mirror Force or any of the fun stuff. So I'm going to draw. Ooh, I have a Fusion in my hand. I do have a Fusion in my hand. Okay. Okay. I'm afraid this won't work, but I got to try. I summon the mob. It could be seven tools of the bandit, so it could be fine. I'm gonna activate Axo Despero. And yep, of course. Felt like that was the case, but I had to play it for sure. Alright. This kid's doing pretty good. Gotta give him credit. He's doing pretty good. But I'm willing to crash. So he's gonna take the damage. I'm just gonna get his life points as low as possible. That way Reflect Founder wins me the duel no matter what. Alright, Maha Velo, do your thing. Beautiful. Okay, at least that one's not 1900 attack. I could beat that with Reflect Bounder. I, I could beat that with a lot of my monsters. Just barely enough to beat mine. Alright, I draw. Oh wow, I drew another Gear Free. That's pretty good, actually. I'm going to still summon Reflect Bounder just so that if they do summon a stronger monster, they pay for it. And then I win the duel by Reflect Bounder's effect and some extra damage from Gear Free. So, Wolfie, get out of here. I'll do 50 damage, 3,200 left. You attack me with an 18 or 1900 attack point monster, leaves you with like 14. We're going to be fine. Yeah, I don't think I can lose this. I draw. Warping Jar would actually be kind of nice too. Even though my hand's not terrible. I'm going to go ahead and summon Gear Free. If this is like Penguin Soldier or something, then I'll consider it. Alright, let's see. Gear Free, you go in. Check you, check and see what that guy is. Hey, hey. Alright, just to stall for one extra turn. Even if it was Manny or Bug, I had another Reflect Bounder in my hand, so we were going to be fine. Alright, what is it this time? Maybe I'll draw a trap this time. Fusion Gate? Oh, shit! Ah, oh, yeah! Fusion Gate! I activate... Oh, wait, how do I do it? I special summon from my grave... I mean, from my fusion deck. The Bickery Box. You better love... You better know I love that card. Hell, it's one of the freaking emotes on my Twitch chat. Alright, Goddess with a third eye and freaking Crash Clown because I don't own Dream Clown yet. Summon me a Bickery Box and then... I'm going to summon one of my Reflect Bounders, and as long as there's no flip effect on this monster, I win the duel. Bickery Box, you get to do the honors. Go ahead. Haha! -ha! Ooh, I'm so glad I got this! That was 2,100 defense points. I was going to be forced to summon Fiend Mega Cyber, but luckily, I drew Fusion Gate, which means victory. Bickery Box! Victory box. He can't beat it. 2300 attack. It could take down a Gaia and itself, but still, it could take on Gaia. The Fierce Knight. Alright. There we go. I'll get my revenge. Yeah, he's very angry. Thanks for the money, loser. Haha, -ha, I've won. Guy of a Corp. You guys hold hosting a tournament yet? Yeah, I didn't think so. I'll try later. See, let's see the other place. A hey, uh, Coliseum. You guys got a tournament going? Yay! Okay, I love me a weekend tournament. Let's do a weekend tournament. So my deck's already ready, and we haven't had to. Do, we haven't got to do a weekend tournament in a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, not do it. Let's play. Let's play against Bakora. All right, Mr. Spectacular Deck Bakora. I'm gonna challenge you. Ha ha! I'll go first. 
I got Reflect Bounder, I got Witch of the Black Forest, I got all the fun stuff. Even if he does get a good effect monster or something. Ooh, Toriental Tribute on top of that. Mmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright. I'm gonna set Witch of the Black Forest. That way, even if I have to activate Toriental Tribute for whatever reason. Probably won't, but if I have to. Master Kianchi, one of the better zombie monsters in uh, his deck. He loves him some zombies and fiends. Okay, now he's pretty strong, but... Not that strong. I could still beat that card eventually. Alright, let's see. Witch of the Black Forest. <coughs> oh, bless me, guys. Um, I need a powerful card. Something that breaks games. Time Wizard, that'll do it. Uh, Summon Skull's nice. Sangan's nice. Mad Doggy is a good card. Um... Wait, give me Mystic Tomato. I have a use for him. Because I'm going to get my opponent to summon more monsters than me, and then I'm going to kill him for it. So, first things first, I'm going to set me a Mystic Tomato in hopes that you summon another monster, and if you do, I make you pay for it. Ah, you set that other monster, you dick. You absolute dick. That was not part of the plan. Freaking Bakora. I hope you lose the tournament. I mean, you, you probably were never going to win anyway, but I hope you lose. I'm going to summon Sanyan. Yeah, Sanyan's pretty good. No, no, no. We don't need my effect. I want to summon Fiend Mega Cyber and save my Torrental Tribute. Morphing Jar! Then maybe I don't want to summon Fiend Mega Cyber. Maybe I still do. I don't know how I feel yet. Alright. I'm going to summon Master Kianchi. I mean, Reflect Founder. So that Master Kianchi has to lose a lot of life points, or I get Trap Hold. That's good, too. It's a win-win for me. Even though I have all this other stuff, we're fine. There we go. Oh, crap, it's the three-legged zombie. That's pretty cool. No, 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 that's all good. It's all good. I may not be any stronger than Master Kianchi, but I'm guaranteed that I'm going to draw a card that makes me stronger. Uh, let's see, let's see. Alright, I could Time Wizard. <laughs> I could totally do that. Let me go to the third eye. I just wanna... I wanna see if I go for that. I was thinking Time Wizard, but that's a... That's a little bit hopeful. So that face down definitely has a flip effect, so something Fiend Mega Cyber is probably not the best idea. Wow, I drew Polymerization and I have Gods of the Third Eye. Shit, that's actually pretty good. Wish you got Crest Cloud instead now. Alright, let's uh, activate their face down monster's effect. What was it? Hey, Nane! Yes, called it. Alright, it was an effect monster that I could not defeat. So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to special summon the Fiend Mega Cyber. I'm going to normal summon one of my Shining Angels. And even though I can't beat Master Kianchi, I believe the opponent will not be willing to attack my Fiend Mega Cyber, which will give me more time to draw one of my equip spells or power-up cards. Or maybe I'll draw a fusion material, because all I need is a fusion material. I could draw red eyes, I could draw honestly anything. Yeah, I could draw anything. Cross Clown, and I will get my fusion. So let's do 1100 and let's clear up that other monster. See, Joey's deck's pretty good. Even Bakora struggles against it. Even though I think canonically Bakora beat Joey. Did that happen? Canonically? I think that happened. I can't remember what duel it was. I think they did duel and Bokora did beat Joey. Alright, I'm gonna draw. Oh, you know what? It might not have happened canonically. It happened in one of the other games that I played on my channel. I can't remember what it was called. But it did happen in one of the games. So, why didn't... Oh, I have swords on the field. I'm dumb. That's why you didn't attack me. I'm gonna keep summoning monsters until I get what I need. I sadly drew Fusion Gate, which, uh... Makes the polymerization in my hand look kind of dumb. But I, if I don't want to remove monsters from play, it's not dumb. Okay, Clown Zombie. You love these zombie cards, but you don't really do much with them. I'm just going to keep summoning monsters until I finally find a way to get over Master Kianchi. And you can keep setting your useless zombies. I don't care. Card Destruction. Shit. Alright, that's fine. I'm going to summon Goddess with a Third Eye. I'm going to play Fusion Gate. I would do a Polymerization, but screw that. I'm going to play Fusion Gate. I'm going to get two new... I also could Morphing Jar. 
and then set card destruction. Yeah. You know what? That'll get me more in the end. I have one more turns of swords anyway, so it's fine. And if I feel like it's not fine, then I'll stop myself. Dragon zombie. Yep. All these great zombie cards getting destroyed. Too bad you never summoned Pumpkin. Although that's more of a bones thing to do. Alright, swords is gone. I draw. Big bang shot. I drew an equip spell. That's it. I activate my equip spell, Big Bang Shot, on my Fiend Mega Cyber, which means I can now defeat my opponent. I set Morphing Jar, and what's the last card of my hand? Polymerization? I could technically set... You know what? I don't want to fill up my field. I don't mind losing Polymerization. Uh, let's go ahead and go in, my team of monsters. Fiend Mega Cyber, you're going to destroy the Master Creon Tree, because you're the only one that can. Get rid of that sword for a few seconds. Most zombies have terrible defense anyway, so this should work, unless this is the one zombie that doesn't. That's not a zombie. And now my Morphing Jar can screw me. Oh no, it can't. Oh no, I lose Goddess of the Third Eye, it can screw me. Shit. Shit. If he attacks my Morphing Jar, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, but we're, we're all cool. Everything's cool. Oh, I drew a fusion. Shit. Ah, oh, I love Vickery Box, so I'm not gonna... You know what? It's fine. I'm gonna regular Palmerization Vickery Box. Yeah. Alright. I love Vickery Box, so I'm not gonna not summon it. Goddess, goodbye. Even though the odds are I would have drawn something better. Let's go ahead and summon you right there. I would summon Shining Angel. But there is a chance I draw another fusion, so I'm gonna flip. And the odds are I'll draw a better monster anyway. Yep, enjoy your sword. Alright. So if I had not gone for Crasthown, I could have gotten Black Skull Dragon. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Of course, I couldn't help myself. Uh, let's go ahead and activate Axo Despero. There we go. That'll power up my Fiend Mega Cyber to amazing points. And then we'll summon the Goblin Attack Force. And we win the duel. Probably this turn, unless they have another face down. There we go. Go ahead and attack. Get rid of that card. Ooh, that's one of the only zombies you have that actually has defense points and does burn damage. But, I used my monster with a shit ton of attack points. Now I got my double goblin zombies. And bickery box combo. Also, I could just attack with these two first to maximize my money. So let's maximize my money. Bakora, you made this a good duel. I gotta give you some more credit for who you are. There we go. Bickery Box, win me another duel. Hell yeah. I know this is a Pegasus card, but I love Bickery Box. So I put it in my Joey deck. I couldn't help myself, guys. I couldn't help myself. Eh, that looks like 300 bucks, right? 388. Yep. I made good money off the Korra. A lot of monster destruction, after all. Alright. Let's go ahead and go and skip a day, but, uh, I guess not skip, we did do stuff this day, but check the shop first, always check the shop first, Mako, get out of the way, random lady, get out of the way, Gramps, how are you doing? Alright, nothing special, nothing special, nothing special, nothing special, nothing special, nothing we haven't seen before, so let's go ahead and go back, okay, I'm just gonna go chill, alright, time to go back home, take a little nappy new, uh, nappy new, Take a little sleeps. Rest in bed. I don't think there are any... Uh, I mean, the shop's not even open on Tuesday, so what we could do is we can go around, see what's going on. Shop's closed. All this is fun. Eh, is there anyone I really want to do on a Tuesday, though? Not really. Yeah, they're always there. Whenever I grind, I usually go there and fight Taya. Yeah, you see, there's just no one really in. I'm into dueling. Even Rex is cool, but he's like, nah. You can't beat a Joey deck. We already know this. The only one who probably can is my Valentine. Or Mako Tsunami. They're the two people that beat me most recently. Of course, Mako did beat my uh, other deck. So there's a possibility it's not this one. Okay, Gramps, we're just here to check. You got any special packs for me today? Something I gotta grind for? Okay, Taya's pack is back. I did say I wanted Yugi starter deck, just so I can get Dark Magician, now that I got that other card. Yeah, that might be worth it. Okay, let's just, let, let's not skip a day. Let's, let's work hard on this day. 
And you know what, Yugi? I want your starter deck, so I'll duel you. I'm gonna duel little Yugs here, and then we're gonna try and get his starter deck, guys. Obviously, it's still $2,000, but I want that Dark Magician. I want it more than anything. Also, I think his deck comes with another Summon Skull, which would be great for the deck I'm currently using. Now, do I really want a card destruction? Actually, yeah, why not? Let's, uh, let's activate Fusion Gate. And then let's card destruction. Screw it. Maybe I'll throw away a bunch of my, be my uh, Yugi's best trap cards. I got rid of his Ritual Monster and a trap card. I got Polymerization, which is useless now. And I got Feed Mega Cyber, which will come in handy if uh, this goes south. Two face downs. What happened to Yugi Mudo? Alright, well, this is interesting. I'm going to set Copycat in case things go south and I can use it to tribute my Summon Skull. I'm going to summon Mystic Tomato and get Trap Hold so I wasted Mystic Tomato's effect. Hooray. Alright, little Yugs, you got a good plan. You just drew a monster. It was Witch of the Left. That's a good monster. That's a good equip spell. Still can't beat Feed Mega Cyber if I manage to pull it off. Copycat. It's okay. He wouldn't have been able to defeat that card anyway. Not without our own exit to spare. Hey! That's the perfect card to draw. If he summons another monster, I can get Fiend out here and then we'll win the duel. Shit. Alright, little Yugs. Starting to piss me off. Although, with Witch of the Black Forest, I can get... I can win. I can get Goddess with a third eye. Oh, you're gonna die, Yug. I'm about to summon my favorite card in all of existence. The Black Skull Dragon. First things first, I activate Polymerization to get rid of one of your Magic Jammers. Shit, you don't have Magic Jammer. Okay, well at least my cards don't go get removed from play. I'm gonna choose Summon Skull and Goddess with a Third Eye to summon my favorite card, the Black Skull Dragon. And next, I'm going to Summon Gear Free the Iron Knight to see if he has Trap Hole. Another one. Another one, yep. And now I can just barely beat your mon- Oh no, not really. Fiend Mega Cyber can beat it, but Black Skull could definitely be Witch of the Black Forest. Wait, what's this? No! I took so much direct damage! Damn you, King of Games! Damn you, Bow to Hell! Alright, so Lil Yugs had a plan. Oh, what's this? Okay, not a bad combo to search through your deck and also get a new card. Gemini Elf is a solid monster, but my assumption is you tribute summoned, uh... You know, the card we all know, Summon Skull, the guy who I used to make my Black Skull Dragon here. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna destroy you. I hope you're okay with that, Yugi. No hard feelings, none of that bull crap. Yep, I was right. Haha. <laughs> if it was something even stronger with a single tribute, I would have been surprised. Black Skull Dragon, now we did direct damage. It's an even fight. I have field advantage, he has hand advantage. We'll see what goes on. We know he has Gemini Elf in his hand. Okay, and I played my Reflect Bounder so that you would take the damage. I'll take two for you to take 19. And if I draw a monster card, I'll win next turn. Most likely. Oh yeah, that's game. I'm gonna summon Zumbira the Dark. Freaking Joey decks are unstoppable. Zumbira, let's get, let's get to work. I attack Gemini Elf. And just like that, Black Skull Dragon will win me this duel. Good duel, little Yugs, but you couldn't stop me. You just couldn't stop me. I win. So what I'm going to do, guys, is we're going to have a normal pack buying right now, but then I'm going to grind off screen, and then we're going to buy the Yugi starter deck on the, in the next episode. So that's my plan. That is my plan. I lost, Pharaoh. I let you down. Don't worry about the Pharaoh. Worry about me. Hey there, Gramps. I think I made a thousand bucks today. Not even. Yeah. So Taya's deck is amazing because you get Nova Mangas and all that stuff, but uh, obviously all the starter decks are amazing. Yugi Standard, Taya. I know it's Taya Collection, but it should be called Taya Standard. Um, for now, what we're going to get, always Super Monster because that thing's amazing. Um, I did say I wanted to be an Insect Boy, but at the same time, this volume pack is really good. So we're going to buy very little packs today. But it's okay, because next episode we're buying a starter deck. Fenrir, Energy Drain, Biomage, Robotic Knight, Rui Koki, uh, Gurochi, Dark Blade's good, uh, Humanoid Slime, Luster Dragon's really good, okay. Okay, not terrible. And Super Monsters, Pinchapa, Sousa Soldier, Spirit Creed, Spirit Creed's Giant Rats! 
Giant Rat. That's all that matters. Giant Rat is the best pool ever. Amazing pool. So, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Next episode, I'll be grind up for some money so that we can buy more cards, including a starter deck. Bye bye <laughs>